At least one woman survived jumping from a second story window. Let's go live to Detroit's West Side and 7 Action News reporter Amira David with more on what happened. Amira, what do we know? Well, Joanne, uh, police are currently on the scene right now. I want to point you right behind me. We also have family grieving, so we're trying to respect their space. But if you look at the home right there, you can see the middle window. That is the window that woman jumped out of. And uh, we are told she jumped and then unfortunately broke her leg. She's now getting medical help. A neighbor in the area did manage to come to her aid. This don't make sense. This is like at my back door. Stephanie Patton shaken up this morning, recounting what happened just steps away. I hear her hollering, so I run up the street. I see her laying on the ground. Patton immediately rushed to her aid. The woman had just jumped from a second story window and told her she was being pursued by an attacker. Patton says she went to grab her a blanket to stay warm as police were called to this home just off Quincy and Carter. When I got back, that's when she went to explain to me that he shot her sisters and she jumped out the window. Police are now releasing the gender of the victims. One, a man 24 years of age, and the other, a 30-year-old female, both killed just before the attacker fled. A fourth person, a woman, was also in the home and uninjured. Detectives now investigating a personal connection between the victims and the assailant. We believe that the perpetrator may very well be known to some of the parties that were inside the house. How many and police are confirming it is a lone gunman. That gunman still at large. They're asking for any help, any tips whatsoever in finding the suspect. If you know anything, they're urging you to contact Detroit police. Or if you want to remain anonymous, you can also call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. For now on Detroit's West Side, Amira David, 7 Action News.